While working with notebooks in VS Code, such as with Jupyter Notebooks, the join cell commands let you combine multiple cells into one. You can use this to combine code cells or even markup cells. Let's take a look at an action in this Jupyter Notebook. So here I have two code cells, the first one up here and the second one down here. And as part of refactoring this notebook, let's say that I want to combine these together. We can use the join cells command to do that quickly. Now there's a few different forms of the join cell command, but in this case, because we have two cells that are next to each other, we're going to use the join to next cell command. So I'm going to open up the command palette with control shift P or command shift P and say join cell. And I want the notebook join with next cell command. This is going to join the currently selected cell to the next one. And you can see that the result of this is a single new code cell that has the code content of both cells joined together. Now, if the result was unexpected, you can always hit control Z or command Z to go and undo that operation. And now you have the two cells together again. The join with next cell and join with previous cell commands are useful when you're dealing with two cells that are next to each other. But let's say that you wanted to go and join together multiple cells in the document. So maybe you want to go and join together four or five cells, or you want to join together cells that are not directly next to each other. That's where you can use the join selected cells command instead. So I'm going to go and select some cells here. And to do that, I'm going to go and hold down control on Windows and Linux or command on Mac, and then click to select these cells here. So I'm going to select these two. Now I have two cells selected, and I'll go and select this one as well. So now I have three cells selected. I'm going to open the command palette again. So I'll say control shift P or command shift P and say join cells. And then in this time, I want the notebook join selected cells command here. This is now going to join all of these selected cells together. You can see that they have been joined up to the first cell in the list. So we now have a single cell in place of that first cell and all the other cells, the contents of them have been joined onto it. Of course, all of these commands also work with markdown cells in notebooks. So here we have two markdown cells and I can go and select these. So I'm gonna go and select the two cells here just by holding down shift and then using the down arrow. Now I have the two markdown cells selected. And if I go and say, join selected cells, again, from the command palette, you can see that I've joined the markdown contents of these two cells together. So that's a quick look at the join cell commands for VS Code's notebook support.